got the small one. <laughs> Apparently that's the small one. Yeah. I mean, she, think she did it pretty well out of that one. Hello guys, uh, we are here in Marble, noisy, noisy Marble Arch, uh, named after this Marble Arch over here. Uh, that's not why we're here, we just came off the tube, uh, head amongst loads of people, running around everywhere, but I am actually going to Essex, which is like a uh, shoe shop, um, and that's only part of the reason. I'm gonna get away from this digging. That's only part of the reason why I'm here actually. Uh, I am meeting, eventually meeting Asha in Covent Garden. So I thought I'd take you with me. Um, but yeah, for now it's gonna be Essex and Marble Arch things, shoes. Basically I'm trying to look for some shoes uh, for like kind of trekking or traveling. You know, I already got Essex running shoes, which are amazing. And having just got those, um, kind of want to upgrade some walking slash kind of maybe trekking trail shoes because these were the shoes that I was originally going to take, I think, traveling, but I just don't think they're going to cut it in terms of uh like actual hiking or something and i think the running shoes as well i'm gonna do it either so yeah i'm just gonna go check see if they've got like these ones that i've seen on line and then after that walk around a little bit uh wait for asha to finish work and then go and meet her in common garden not sure why she wants to be in common garden but she um she goes to poland tomorrow so it is kind of her last night here, so I guess maybe she wants to do something in London before going first thing in the morning. So yeah, I thought I might as well come and join her, whatever she wanted to do. So anyway, yes, let's go to ethics. So yeah, no, there was nothing there really that suited what I needed, so... Uh, I think Ash is going to finish work, I don't know, probably in about 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to walk it towards, walk down, um, this is Oxford Street, and then head to kind of Covent Garden, walk all the way, see what we can find. It's about a 35 minute walk, so she may be there before I get there. Um, but yeah, I don't know, let's just do it, see what we can find on the way. I seem to be having fun. Um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to come in just in case you guys didn't know. Ooh, let's cross the road without a signal. Uh, Oxford Street. There's a lot here. I think this is uh, Selfridges, for example, um, which is kind of like a all things shop. Uh, and generally speaking, like down, down Oxford Street, it's just all the high street shops. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, even just looking around, Echo, Rolex, Adidas. You know, obviously, I was just in Essex. Um, what else? Max and Spencer's, River Island. Da -da 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 -da. Basically, anything you could think of uh, that should be on the high street will be on the high street. Um, yeah, that's uh, what day is it today? It is Wednesday, so not too busy. I guess people are still at work. Um, oh, look, you can also, it looks like you can get like these tri school dudes, they kind of go all around London actually. I don't know how much they cost, but I've seen them around Covent Garden. Not that I really want to catch one to Covent Garden, um, but yeah, they're kind of around the Soho area and kind of the central, central London as well, I guess. Um, Oh, there's a pink bus. Um, yeah, and this is kind of the entrance to Selfridges here. Uh, who that lady is, I don't know. She seems to be quite important. Yeah, and also along the top here, you can actually see all like various flags. I don't see a New Zealand flag, but it's a bit hard to tell because the wind isn't really catching them. 
anyway yeah I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a rundown on what Oxford Street was if you didn't know it is more than just a monopoly board um, landing spot card thing so yes okay I'm gonna keep keep walking I'm getting a little bit hungry I think we're eating at home later but I might just get a snack now or we may get a snack in Covent Garden I have just heard from Asha she's gonna be about probably half an hour so I we will kind of be there about the same time but on the way I do want to get just a little snack of some sort uh, yes let's change I uh, don't know what that is in regards to but I guess you know could be uh, any sort of metaphorical philosophical idea of let's change anything and everything Oh, people. <laughs> um, getting more people now, I guess. People were just finishing work. Uh, yes. So, I'm gonna keep heading down. Show you a bit as I head down and around. And, ah, there you go. Let's change the way we shot. Okay, good to know. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna head down. To all those people down here. Great. Just stopped off at Boots, uh, just there, and picked myself up a protein bar. Uh, hopefully, that will keep me going until. Whatever happens for dinner at some point in time. Uh, yes, actually, I'm cooking tonight, I think. So, interesting. Um, yeah, I believe I'm cooking at home. So, I don't think we're having dinner here. Why I'm coming here, well, we'll find out, won't we? Um, anyway, I think I've kind of been going a bit slow. Uh, just stopping off at a few shops, probably that I shouldn't have. So, got to speed there now to kind of catch Asha so yes let's keep on going yes. whoa I uh, got held up well I went into a shop tried some clothes on now I'm very 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 late I'm rushing through rush hour uh, Asha is already there and I don't know it's gonna take me maybe 10 minutes to get there so yeah rushing uh, I'll see you there I'll see her there I'll see everyone there. Bye. I think we are now just turning on to Charing Cross Road. Uh, here, 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 here. That is uh, Soho Square, which I think we were in in a previous video. I'll put that up here somewhere. Uh, Asha has called. I am late. She is here. Uh, <laughs> but it's this way somewhere. So yeah, we'll get there eventually. Uh, let's go. We made it. Uh, this is Covent Garden that way. Uh, Asha said she is somewhere near the Opera House or in that corner. Uh, yeah. Only like, wow, well, there was no set time. But whatever it is, I'm probably late. <laughs> yes. But yeah, well, we're just there. Uh, obviously, Covent Garden, uh, famous for the Opera House, because that building there. Uh, also, the market there. And there's kind of some markets and a lot of, again, like High Street um, shops. Uh, there is Apple just there and I don't know what else can I tell you? restaurants and oh yes and actually it's also famous for there are buskers and stuff which should be just around this corner can't hear anyone they're usually shouting a lot oh look there's a crowd I'm not sure which one that is but maybe we'll go check it out once we've found Asha not sure what her plan was this was her idea so can only imagine she may have a plan, but who knows. 
We're about to find out. Uh, this way, somewhere. Okay, I might give her a call. We made it, look. Here's Covent Garden. And there's Asha. Yeah, we weren't that late, were we? Maybe half an hour. Five minutes, five minutes late? Um, yeah. At least. So, look, there's a man. Lots of things. Uh, we're gonna go have some ice cream? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I have had a chocolate bar. You did. But I can do ice cream, I guess, as well. <laughs> We've got some nice, uh, nice places around here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go try some ice cream. We're going to Leicester Square for ice cream, huh? Not Colvin Garden, Leicester Square. There was a big long queue and it seemed a bit... Uh, something posh. Yeah, a bit, a bit faffy in the ice cream. Uh, so yeah, we're going down there for perhaps something a bit more normal slash cheap. Slash <laughs> tasty. Yeah, slash tasty, slash cold. Uh, yeah, this way. Okay, so we uh, this was I think the fourth ice cream shop we went to. <laughs> uh, Asha kind of knew where she wanted to go. She, we just went to this one in the end. Um, it's called our Marino, our Marino, and it's just kind of behind I think uh, Trafalgar Square, kind of on what road is this? I don't know this road, whatever road this is. But the amazing things about these ones is that they make into kind of like a flowery rose type thing so you get like three well i got i got the the smallest one so it's like 420 i think but then you get three different flavors three different flavors and they kind of sculpt it into like a rose which is pretty amazing but yeah it's gonna melt pretty quick uh the flavors i got were uh melon black currant and limon so yeah Exciting. Great, great, great. I'm gonna eat this. Actually, let's have a try. Ooh. Yeah, you can definitely taste the melon there. And the lemon sourness there. And the black currant. Black currant? Hmm. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, very distinct and very kind of. Yeah, each color is kind of each color each flavor is kind of quite um different yeah but also very in tune with what the flavor should be so yeah great stuff 420 i think or four or something um pretty great uh, i think i just got lost somewhere in there with the decisions so yeah i'll just wait for her and then i think we're going to head down to trafalgar square to eat this stuff the small one. <laughs> Apparently that's the small one. Yeah. I, mean, she, I think she did it pretty well out of that one. But uh, what flavors did you get? I got the uh, uh, main one is uh, chocolate and then I got dulce de leche and then I got blackberry. Black. Yeah I got uh, black currant. Oh but no black currant that's it. Maybe it is blackberry. Maybe yeah. it is blackberry. Maybe I read it incorrectly. Be careful because yours is so full. I don't even know why I deserve this one, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to head down to Trafalgar Square, yes. down that way, and sit down and hopefully get there before these melt and drop into the floor. Yes! That there is Nelson's column in the distance there. You can see Big Ben. Uh, those are like the lions of something or other. 
And then behind me, oops, ice cream on my hand, uh, is the National Gallery. I mean, to this side is the National Portrait Gallery. And then there is a church here, I don't know what church it is. And this, yeah, Big Ben, I've already said. And over here is the fourth plinth, third plinth, one of the plinths, which you see here with the like ice cream sundae thingy on it. It'll just be like that, kind of. And this place. Oh, um, right, Yeah, with like an ice cream sundae on it. So that uh, is like a commissioned piece. The Traditionally, I think it was lit. Um, or I'm not sure what happened to it originally. I don't really know the history, to be honest, but I do know that every so often uh, an artist gets commissioned to do like a an installation or sculptural piece on it which kind of then interacts with I guess the more traditional sculpture and you can kind of see around the place Nelson up here uh, yes I'm gonna eat this before it gets melty melty uh, how is the ice cream? amazing really tasty Amarino yeah Amarino on what road is that? Well, behind Trial Square. I mean, I've already sort of said that. But I, don't, I can't remember what road it's on. Maybe Trafalgar Square Road? I don't no. know. Trafalgar Square Road is over there. Anyway, gonna eat this. Uh, then there's gonna be a sunset. I don't know. And we're probably gonna go home. Etc, 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 etc. We're gonna jump on the tube soon. Ash is just over there somewhere. Thought I'd give you a little rundown. There's, you know, it's quite a magnificent kind of monument or square all to itself. Uh, that is Trafalgar Square. So that's um, to commemorate the battle of, or the, the British winning against the French and the Spanish in the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805, if you didn't know. And this here, that there, is Nelson's column. Nelson's column. So he was, I think, um, a lord of the navy, naval fleet, who died, uh, I think, in 1940 something, 1948, perhaps. Um, and then the lions, which are around, are kind of like I think lions are uh, quite representative of, of, of the British. You know, there's the, the idea of the British lions, um, but in this case, they're kind of protecting Nelson's column. Interesting. They kind of add like a kind of fierceness, I guess a, a proudness to what was a, I can only imagine, was a um, ruling battle which the British became victorious. Da, 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 da. Uh, I think that'll do. Uh, we're gonna head home. She's got a pack. I, I've got to make dinner. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head back down on the tube. So we will say goodbye. Uh, Asha, this will be Asha's last one for a while. Cause she's going away for a couple of weeks, yeah. and then I guess she'll she'll join back with the vlogs at some point. Uh, you know, in this country or another. Uh, but yeah, for now, that's goodbye from both of us. Uh, if you you know do those things, like you know if. If you feel like it, go and do the liking and the subscribing and comment down below. Uh, and me from here, from Trafalgar Square to you. Uh, keep on drifting. Catch you guys later.